unbelievable experience, and I couldn't imagine having it in a better place than on the roof of Dnepropetrovsk, looking out at the world. Mrs. Miriam Swerdlov of New York, who personally knew the family of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, recently led a group of 70 women to the Menorah Center in Dnepropetrovsk, Ukraine, so they can see firsthand the birthplace of the father of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. We're here with 70 people from all over the world, from South Africa, from Venezuela, from Australia, from Israel, from America, from Canada, to see the beginnings of Chabad, because this is where it happened. This is where the Rebbe lived. This is where Ablevik lived. This is where Abitzin Khan lived. And this is where the most unbelievable seven-building menorah that was put up by Rabbi Kamenetsky. We came to have pride in who we are, in what we are, and what we come from. The large delegation visited the office of the local rabbi and Chabad Shaliach, Rabbi Shmuel Kaminsky. Rabbi Kaminsky chose to make his office in a place where you can look over at real Mesir HaSnefesh of Rav Leibig. This is where Rav Leibig, this is where the Rebbe lived. This house down here at the bottom with the three floors, this is where the Rebbe lived. Rabbi Kaminsky, who is well known among Jews in the Ukraine and around the world, told the women about the city and its special relationship to Chabad. The women visited the Menorah Center, a magnificent Jewish center built in the form of a golden menorah and which hosts many Jews from Israel and around the world. The center was built by Tzvi Hirsch Bogolibov, president of the Jewish community in the city.